Welcome to Worldwide Hack, released December 22nd, 2021. Lotus Innovations, developed and published by Reveal Company Secrets While Hacking and Exploring Their Quantum Simulation Networks. Fights for Control... Yes, it says, Fights for Control with Other Players, Co-op with Your Faction, Gather Best Tools, Build Most Secure Servers, Write Scripts and Webs, or Choose to Be Solo Hacker Who Makes the Right Choices to Change the World. That is as it is written. It is an early access game, MMO, online PvP, co-op, and um, from the looks of it, might be making an attempt to rival Game Hack as a hacking MMO. I guess we'll see. Please fully read and confirm below your agreement with the privacy policy in terms of service. Welcome to the Quantech Information System. The purpose of the system is to provide an interface for all work related to the Quantum Research Division. Okay. Log in as owner. F. Polson. Frank Polson. Oh. Uh, J. Hack. Hi. Glad to see you just entered the system and based on your IP address, you are not a Quantech employee. I am Jhack, by the way, and this is a cracked version of the Quantech company application. Okay, this is... Music's too much for me. Um, you need to get into the system. There are uh, things that the public needs to see. I will lead you. Try to log in with a password as manager F. Polson. With a password? Like, password? Wrong password. In case you forgot your password, please use the alternate option using your security question to reset your password. For creating a new account, contact your manager. Okay. Okay, you don't know the password. Uh, you get this manager's account filling. Okay, so... Right off the bat here, Lotus Innovations. What, what do we have here? Because uh, we have uh, some issues here. Um, with the Steam Store page and the text in the game. Uh, Trebisov, Slovakia. So, uh, I'm never one to judge harshly typos or grammatical uh, mistakes or um, syntactical errors or anything. Doubly so uh, when English is not a first language here. Um, but uh, I am stumbling over the language here, so it is presenting something of an obstacle. Just know that as I'm struggling to read this uh, due to the errors, I mean no disrespect or anything. Um, so, um, you'll get inside the manager's account by filling security answer for a security question written above, but you don't know the answer, right? What's his favorite food? To find it, check the company webpage, link in the middle under the login button, and find the blog post containing interview with this manager. Okay, go to web page. It's a real life web page. Incredible. Incredibly. Uh, this is F. Polson. F. Polson. Lag. Mark Graham, Alan Morris, Frank Polson, head of human resources. I somehow feel better about hacking HR people. I'm not sure what it is. Someone has a problem with me. I would like it if he tells it directly to me and not to everybody in the company except me. I don't like gossips. Well, Frank, you're in HR. That's kind of your job. How would you describe your character and personality? What's your weakness? What's your favorite food? I love cakes and sweets, but I wouldn't refuse even a good steak. However, I'm sure that my biggest gastronomic passion is Japanese cuisine. I'll never resist, mainly the sushi. When I think about it, I'm getting, okay, sushi. Sushi. Warning, suspicious login from an unknown device. Now you need to create your account. Uh, can't use your, they can't use the managers, he'll notice. Try to do it by clicking the manage button on the right side of the dashboard. Manage. 
Um, here you will create your account to get access to the company. Read carefully the requirements below for a full name. Fill in other information as you want, including your real email address, so that you can manage your account later. Form for registering a new company. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. What shall my nom de jour be? How about... Um, couldn't use this before in Greyhack on account of uh, not having enough characters. But Shaquille Oatmeal. Password, of course. The most secure password in the world. Uh, email address. I ain't giving you shit. Full name. Okay. Um, Mike Hunt. What is your favorite? This is, let's switch security questions. They offer favorite food, favorite color, first name of your mother, your favorite song or singer. What is your favorite book? What is the name of your first love? So just a a, a note here about security questions like this. So. Uh, these types of questions are meant in the event that primary authentication fails due to a human error, like forgetting your password, that there is a way to do what is known as identity proofing. Identity proofing is a way of validating the identity of a user uh, before new credentials are offered. Identity proofing is generally done before credentials are first issued, and then it will need to be done every time their identity needs to be authenticated, and again, Authentication credentials, for whatever reason, fail. It is always a bad idea to use security questions that would be basically what you would ask anybody just chatting, like five minutes of conversation. Um, you know, you would just ask one of these innocent questions. <laughs> you want to ask something to identity proof them. It would be information that only they would have that they wouldn't normally tell other people. Like, that's why we used to do last four of SSN and and uh, and so on because that's a rather awkward question to ask a stranger on the street hey what's the last four of your social security number we try to avoid doing that these days uh too just because social security numbers are well there's a variety variety of reasons i guess i don't know we'll get into here but um name of your first love spaghetti uh <sighs> Alpha numeric characters. No special characters. And password needs to have upper and lowercase characters. Email address is not valid. What's not valid about that? A at A.com. That meets that meets validation. Uh let's do some let's do some testing here. We're gonna still go with Shaquille Oatmeal. We'll just get rid of the special characters since we can't have any special characters. Password is going to have to go to the second strongest password ever, which is password one with a capital P, of course. Uh, let's see what their validation is doing here. Let's just add a valid domain and see what happens. Can only add employees listed in our candidates database. So, first roadblock here. We need to find the candidates database. Um, how do we go back? Um, play ID one. No. Um, how do we go back? Dashboard. Um, uh, we need to find a gun. Oh, okay. Document of candidates. Okay, so documents. list database job positions job interviews Richard White hiring there we go list of candidates the following list of candidates contains name surname position to apply for projects okay a new HR manager sales manager statistician why do they have so many HR managers? Development analyst. Database analyst. Oh, okay. Um, position platform project. Okay, so we're going to say how fast we don't have much time. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Gabriel Bennett.
So we know that it's the uh, domain name that did that. Notice how I answer, uh, not what's your favorite food spaghetti, name of your first love. They call that security through obscurity. Uh, it is. Do I need to... Last name first? No? Am I misspelling it? Uh, two N's, two T's. And is that first name correct? G-A-B-R-I-E-L, G-A-B-R-I-E-L, yep. There we go. Registration of a new employee account has been successful and is waiting for activation and confirmation. That's me right there. Action, delete, evaluation. Oh, email, there it is. Process changes. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, the manager, run the manage user tool. You'll find the tool and also a manual how to use it on your computer through the network menu. There. Yes, I have a suspicion. Please contact us. Okay. Connect. Oh, we got some hackery type things going on here, it seems. Quick, quick OS. Okay. From the weird simulation experiments. Center of the screen is a terminal window with a command line. It is used to execute commands. Computers will call computer. We'll call computers nodes in the simulation. Okay, let's see. Uh, just type the command reboot to terminal. Uh, short explaining some basics, then I will let you choose if you want my help or not. Okay. And connections. GUI. Notes. Okay. System status. We got some components. We got protectors, hackers, some kind of gauge of some kind. All right, and I got a terminal. Uh, reboot. Rebota. Uh, okay. Control the node file and sometimes. Here's command line. You need to know a few commands similar to Linux systems to be able to raise your node. To be able to use your node. Um, here's the title of the nursery mail. First, we need to find the manual. It's going to be in this tool. Um, in, uh, okay, so the chat, is that what they're calling it? Task details? That's their chat? Uh, okay, yes, you can keep, keep helping me, I don't care. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, chat's a little clunky. Okay, thanks for making me do that then. Um... Servers, activation manual. Okay, should be nickname of this program is intended to, okay, for purposes only. All right. No tab complete on that. Okay. Leave the terminal. Now you should be able to log into your new account. Um, how do I... Oh, can I just get rid of these? I can. What does that mean? You gave me a buzz noise. If that was a bad thing that I... 
No. Uh, the first time it's okay. Last week, simulator starts on this week. Okay. How do I leave the dashboard? Uh, oh. I didn't see this. Um, before that, delete all traces leading to you. Check mainly dashboard for that. Uh, clear any logs. They won't be able to trace your activities now. Continue to log in. Okay. So how do I... Okay. Um. Okay, how do I how do I get out of here? Log out. Log in. Log out. Is that log out of this machine? Oh, okay. We did it. I mean, I'm in. I have received your request, but I have a strict ban from management to confirm every registration that... Okay. Let's it's going too fast. It's going too fast. Uh, and if I may ask you, please... Contact your manager. I will wait either for his response or for the update in the system. I see what you just received. That's quite a pickle. Uh, sh you should solve it from the manager's account. Don't worry. I got you. Whenever you are ready, log back. Oh, what? Okay. Needs to be confirmed before you can start a training program. As a system will not allow you to participate. So I gotta go back. <sighs> oh, shut up. So, uh, we need to confirm this. Read the details. We need to remember this coin's debt. Also, it looks like it will be necessary to get the HR system down, but we don't need to hack all HR servers, just the computer of this HR person. Let's do it. Open the manager's computer via network again. All right, hold on. I'm, everything's going on here. I get, I'm getting messages left and right here. Uh, by the way, don't forget that you also still have a debt of 4.82 quant coins marked with the red warning color in the report. Without paying your debt, I won't cooperate in this confirmation and neither other requirements from your team. Okay, that seems unprofessional, but okay. Okay, let's do some hacking. Yes, let's. I love this little problem with HR we have. Again, if you feel like you don't want my help, just write stop to me in chat. No, it's fine. You're not that much of a bother. I mean, the messages are coming fast, but... Like, you know... Okay, I was going to say, this would be a good example for, for you to come... No time for you to come help me. Uh, I, so you will need to send the correct amount of quant coins back to HR... Kill the program running the HR information system and manually move your document from unconfirmed to confirmed and then chat me done. For now, let's check uh, if this coin situation is true. Uh, there is a command coin used to manage your coins. Okay, coin, not cyan, coin. Okay. Coin status. He happens to have 4.82 coins. You will need coins to buy tools, services, hardware upgrade, and gain influence in simulation. 
But for now, we need to send them to the HR person so we don't lose this new account. Problem is, we don't know her IP address, which we need to send the coins. There is an, another interesting folder, logs. Take a look at what's inside. Uh huh, multiple log files. Um, look inside the coin log, okay. Seems weird that it's now telling me to use LS and cat when I just had to use that in order to get the thing, so. Um, anyway, there's the IP address. Coin, send, 144. Um, yeah, I know. Why did you stop me? It, the UI looks pretty nice. Uh, this is pretty sharp. Um, it uh, unfortunately is a little bit clunky here, especially with the messages coming in all the time. Um, we need to get this HR node and change our employee documentation. Do this need to connect to this HR node, so run scan. Okay. I'm running scan. I'm pretty sure I already know what the IP address is. Connect 144.10.73.81. The uh, mechanics of the simulator are very close to uh, hacker evolution. Um, I'm not accusing them of plagiarizing Hacker Evolution by any stretch of the imagination. What I'm saying uh, is that it is the same level of Hacker Simulator, which is to say we're not really doing a lot of actual stuff here. There's a scan command, there's a connect command, we're sending coins back and forth. It looks better, for sure. 100%. Um, where was I? Now explore the new note. Uh, okay. I know. I see at this point is giving me notes. J hack is sending me tips for stuff after I've already done it, which is not particularly useful. The instructions need to come before I do the thing. Um, okay. Unconfirmed. Uh, one of those files, cat 87.dat, we're catting a dat file. Oh, I see. It's in the corner. Uh, that's not me. 502s? <clears throat> nope, I am not a 502. 509. That's me. Move, no, not Nick. Move assignment time line dot that to uh confirm it. Uh, okay, do not change its content. Okay, if you have already killed the HR system and sent coins, right? Uh, if not, we'll need to do it now. And kill her HR system, she'll lose access to it, so she'll need to look inside her folders or work with individual files. Um, you want me to type help? Okay. That's a, that's a help file, yeah. Or do you want me to just move forward? Okay. Um, then chat done. Let's see. Oh. Then you want me to actually kill. Like, the HR process. Is that what it is?
Um, you want me to kill the HR process? Oh, that is probably what they said. I misunderstood. Okay. Okay. I, I did. Dude, I did. Done. Okay. I would rather not, but okay. Okay. I found confirmation and activated everything necessary. Look, why is the music playing again? Literally just turned that down. Okay, email. Comment section of the confirm. What are the next steps? Uh, the terminal. So it's turning network menu. Acceptance of a strict confidentiality agreement. Don't mind if I do. I love confidentiality agreements. I love them. Oh, connect your account to Steam if you purchased it using this green Steam button on the bottom. Or enter the serial key if you own one. What do you, What is this for? I'm playing this through Steam. Is this some kind of like broke dick like DRM or or something like that because oh that's why you wanted me to enter my real email address and stuff okay so you need to connect your account to Steam or enter the serial key if you own one from Kickstarter or Patreon so you're saying I, I can't play unless I link this to Steam even though I'm playing it through Steam. Mm. Mm. I don't like having to do this. I don't see the point in doing this. And the game so far hasn't really been good enough to justify it. But I also don't want to give up on it that fast. <sighs> Fine. One moment, please. Okay. It said that I can... Return to the game. There we go. Okay. I mean, far be it for me to, you know, um, prevent small indie game studios from making sure that they, they get what's what they're due. Piracy is, is a thing. And while I'm not really concerned about privacy, uh, uh, sorry, piracy, as a phenomenon in general, particularly when it comes to larger media companies, which isn't to say that it's not a problem, it's just that it's a problem of scale. So a smaller company is more easily adversely affected by piracy than a larger company, as of course larger companies face it on a larger scale than smaller companies. However, I certainly disagree with most tacts taken to this point to fight it. And while this wasn't really too big of a deal, I also feel like it's a deal that did not need to be here to begin with. I feel like there should be some way to do this. I mean, isn't that the whole point of large gaming distribution platforms like Steam and Epic and all that? 
that they are able to handle the DRM and, uh, well, not DRM, I guess, but they're able to handle these license issues in a way that is more or less completely transparent to the end user. I just feel like that's the case and or should be the case. So now I gotta go back, Connecticut, start our training. Or was that our training? Have I just fallen for a ruse? Have I been hoisted by another's petard? All right, anytime you want, you uh, want to start your current assignment again, just write restart to repeat the assignment, write repeat to chat. Welcome to your final training program, Shaquille O'Neal. Everything necessary to use the Quantonaut simulation. We expect as a hired professional, you already know basic system commands. You will deal with two hacking and security problems to prepare you for later experiments as a researcher. I'm not a researcher. I specifically chose the database administrator or analyst or whatever. All right. Uh, in the home folder. Uh, phone home. Key, uh, can't sign months. Okay, why did you make an angry noise? Let's imagine such a situation. What's going on? Such a situation is what? Okay, let's imagine such a situation. Quantech has been the victim of a hacker attack by one of the employees. They copied into his account very valuable documents containing internal codes with the intention of misusing them and anonymously blackmailing management. You have to help us. As first, connect to node blah. You'll find there are some coins, so take them. Later, you'll buy a suitable tool on the market to attack the target. Why, if we're hired as a researcher for this company, are we buying tools on some black market? And why, what are these coins? That reason this isn't making a lot of sense, but okay. Uh, focus on the prot program and which port it runs on. Search on this node the IP address of our FTP server. Download the Nmap tool. Okay, well, then now we're actually using something uh, from the FTP node and use it to hack the target node. Oh, dear. Using the logs from the node of IP we provided you, you can track our target to his IP address, node of that employee. It will be another network. You'll recognize the target node in logs immediately because he attacked just a while ago and didn't delete the tracks. Download the material.txt file, which that employee stole from the target node. Remove the document material.txt from the target node and then kill the trace check so that the employee can no longer endanger our company. Write us done per chat when you finish the task set system as recipient. Okay, let's find this FTP server, connect to the node from the assignment. You scan or directly connect to that node, then look for the document. See, no need to scan, we know what the IP is. Very curious to see what Nmap is going to do when we go over there, because... You are in. Nodes are sometimes protected with a password, sometimes don't. Now you were lucky. Uh, coin... Uh, Coins and oh, coin status. Okay, coin send two hundred to moi. What was moi? I am thirty sixty three seven six two thirty seven. Great, you have coins. We know there is the IP address of our target in logs. It should be okay, but hold on a sec. I'm going to home first. Uh, can't. E server. Okay. Okay. 
Um, oh, this is the right document. Nodes often use other programs which enable you to connect it other ways than with connect. This is one of them. Exit this node to return to our node and follow the steps in the document. Okay, well, we're not ready yet. Uh, sent 200 coins to myself, sent 120 coins to there. Okay. <sighs> What's in the syslog? Nothing. Okay. Exit. Exit. Install FTP. Then, okay, then FTP. What's this? Oh, that's the FTP server address. Oh, can I copy? Oh, I can. Cool. Shakio Oatmeal. Should have chosen a smaller. I like how it keeps doing that. You're in with FTP. You can. You're in. You have, in very hacker fashion, hacked in the valid credentials to the FTP server. Uh, with FTP, you have access to only a few commands and often only limited folders. Of it's okay. So we know that. Um, we need to download, download, and that. Exit the FTP server and use nmap um, unable to find IP. What? Oh, uh, different different network. Um, you can uh, get between a router through routers. Routers are always listed in, okay. Sometimes you'll need to hack through multiple routers to reach the target location. For now, it should be simple. Connect to the nearest router. Use the scan. Okay. Uh, Oregon cat file. Ryan comes to see Okay. Okay, one five six. <laughs> Just like that, <laughs> you're rude on the router. Is that what it is? That's all it takes, huh? Um, this is very useful mainly if you don't know the targets. I'd try to look in. Okay, new connection from node there. Find a router to that sub network, sorry, numbers are the same as target's IP. Okay. Um, connect to this router and run nmap from it. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's before it said that you can use Nmap to hack or whatever like that, but it is using Nmap as a port scanner now, and that's you know, what it is. Um, you can see which ports are opened and can be exploited. You will need the right exploit to do that. This is what you will try next using market. You have permission to run market only from your node. 
So return to your node using exit, then run market to see what possibilities you have. This making me go back and forth is just ludicrous. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh, I'm not on my note. What? Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. Gray market. So this database analyst or administrator or whatever I happen to be is hired and we're all expected to use the gray market apparently. GM provides you a place to buy all kinds of tools, exploits, and order special services. Uh, market list, show all items available. Market list all, market buy, market upgrade, market hosting. Uh, first, you'll need to upgrade the market using market upgrade. God, it's like a new install. It's like true to life. It's a new install of Linux. Okay. I assume that's fine. <clears throat> Invisibility. Okay. Uh, you get access to more. Okay. Rabbit V1, Racer V2. Focus on exploit pro to guess. Compare the requirements with open ports. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even actually look. Uh, okay, we've got. Proped on three, connect on two. Why are they out of order? They shouldn't be. Uh, minor on 12. Trace check. That's the one we gotta kill. Okay, and does not say at all what. There's no information here about the exploits. But this is Prot 2, and this is just running Prot, so that's not it. Um, should be the one, it should be the one I need. It doesn't look like it is. Okay. Really? Okay, you can run it using tool exploit. If missing, you can install exploit for free. You have bought a specific exploit protocast. Let's try to use it to do that. You need to run it using the exploit tool, which requires installation on your node. Okay, so then install exploit. And let me guess I need to specify the name. No, I don't. Oh, all right. Okay, program installed to bin exploit. All right, so do I need to reconnect or do I just put in the I? Let's see what we get when we do this. Um, yes, it does seem like we need to connect. Come on, drop that puppy in there. Let's do this. Ah, really? I gotta do all of this over again? It's just like real life with how much of a pain in the ass everything is. Okay. Exploits. Damn it. Uh, I'm guessing I need to specify the IP. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's snag that from here. Um, port is two, or was it three? Uh, three. Uh, 
Um, port on which Trace Check is running was 99. Uh, use root, sure. This is a, another game that kind of uses prepackaged exploits here. Um, sort of conflating a, a number of different processes and tools here, but. High probability of success, huh? Okay. One code is correct. Okay. Um, Andrew Star Wars getting I'm getting no feedback so uh ABC one two three Charlie oops that's not that was Charlie's Charlie Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, looks like six sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. The double mark of the beast. Jennifer. 2000. Okay. ZXCVBN, ZXCVBN, VBN. One, 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 one. Are you fucking serious? Literally the last one I tried. Um, what was the, there it is. Okay. Oh, uh, am I supposed to download this, search on this node? Okay. Use logs, uh, uh, download. Okay. Okay, then remove. Um, right, done in chat. Oh, wait, I had to do something with traceback. Don't I have to kill it? Yeah. Um, I thought I saw something like that. Yeah, there it is. And then kill the trace check. Okay, so. Oh, goodness gracious. Pids. Tremendous in size. Okay. Now we're done. I didn't. What did I miss? Um, okay. Search on the snow IP address and download and map tool. Did that using logs from the node of the okay. Download the material file. The target node. We did remove the document from the target node, then kill the trace check. Okay. Uh okay. I don't I don't know. Looks like we're done. <laughs> a young dynamic company is looking for a full-time hacker. Please leave your structured CV on our computer in the C uh, documents underscore CVs. Why do hackers celebrate Christmas on Halloween? 
Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be for me or if it's implying, I suppose it's implying that the attacker had a job offer or something, right? Version approach. Password is J root. Okay. Um. I did. I did all the things. I removed the documents. Killed the from the target node. Killed the trace check. Is there more? Terminal is so sluggish. I have to. I have to consciously wait um, between entering commands. Otherwise, it gives me that angry noise because I've pressed a button. What else do you want me to do? Yeah, at system. Done. We're done. What's your problem? Okay, fine. Hints. What do you want me to do? you want to start the whole terminal part again, just send me a message. I don't. Why would I do that? What the hell? Okay, from the top. Do I need to exit? Hold on, maybe I need to exit. It doesn't tell me to do that, but that might be it. Okay, now. Done. What the hell? Okay. Connect to node. There. Find some coins. We did that. We took the coins. We, later you'll buy a suitable tool on the market to attend. Okay, we did that. Search on this node. The IP address of our FTP server. Did that. Download the nmap tool. Did that. Um, use that to scan the target node. Did that. Using logs from the node of IP we provided you. Track our target to his IP. Okay, we did that. Download the material.txt file. We did that. There's the material.txt file. Um, and then kill the trace check. We did that. Right, it's done. Okay. I, I don't know. We did all of the things. So... I don't know what else to do. I, I'm not going to restart it because I did everything. Why would I do it again? Uh, whatever. I, I think I've seen enough anyway. Um, so that's uh, that's Worldwide Hack. It is a uh, pretty hacking simulator, but it's not really doing anything different than a lot of other games in the genre, like Hacknet or Night Team 4, or even the older, less pretty games like Hacker Evolution and so on. It's a typing simulator where you type in a terminal, basic Linux commands, and um, occasionally, you know, well, it, this wasn't much of a simulator, let's put it that way. There wasn't really a lot here that was really that true to life. Um, 
I mean, it's not like it was in completely inaccurate, but I mean, it's also, well, let's face it, it's not really doing anything to actually simulate hacking. It's a, um, you know, we're following objectives, we're typing basic commands, we're, I mean, downloading text files. So, um, not a lot of rigor there, I guess, in terms of being a hacking simulator. Um, it does not actually bill itself as a hacking simulator, so I will give it the benefit of the doubt and say that this is a hacking-themed puzzle game. But even on that score, it doesn't seem to be a particularly brilliant one. It's fine. Um, and I guess I can't say that it's too easy, because here I am stumped, because I follow the directions and it's not completing the objective, so maybe I'm too dumb to figure it out. But it's it seems fine. Uh, the reviews on it have been positive. I don't recommend the game. Um, if you're going to play a game that's a hacking-themed puzzle game or a hacking simulator, I feel like there's better ones out there. The terminal is sluggish. Um, the directions being in both the terminal and in the task details window, and then there being a chat function. There's just too many things going on here for this to, to, uh, to feel, to flow nicely. I do like... Um, the Quantech desktop, dashboard, whatever you want to say it, and the email elements and, and stuff like that. Um, that took an awful long time to hop over here. Um, but uh, there's a manual for newcomers. What does the application allow to simulate? So on, I, I don't know. I, I it, it, The hour that I've been playing, there hasn't been a really a lot to hook me on the story either, so I'm also not particularly interested in continuing the game to find out what happens so i'm gonna chalk this up as being a uh, a very pretty uh, passable lower tier hacking simulator or middling hacking puzzle game um, there's just not enough meat on the bone here for me to want to come back and to keep playing and to struggle through any potential issues that i'm currently experiencing so i guess that's that all right see you on the next one